Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play an old a song called Gypsy by Fleetwood Mac, one of my uncle's favorite bands. And it's going to start on a C major, and the way you, the way you start playing a C major chord, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret, and if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And our intro actually kind of is going to start on, on, a, on a couple of the C's. We'll, we'll talk about how you can cable to play along with the recording in a minute. But we're going to end up playing four C's at the beginning. And then we're going to go to an F major chord. And the way you play F major, if you know the bar F major, you take your first finger and kind of put them across the entire first fret. Second finger is going to go G on the second fret. Third finger on the A on the third fret. And the pinky is going to go to the D on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it makes an F major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And then from F major, we're, we're, um, oh, well, a lot of times uh, these bar chords can be kind of difficult if you're just starting out. So for ease of play, uh, a good substitute for that F chord can be an F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, second finger on the G on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the D on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four string, that's called an F major 7, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from F major 7, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And the way you play a G major chord, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on, on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going back to an F major, and then back to a G major. So our intro is kind of C major, C major, C major. C major, F major, G major, F major, G major, and then that actually that pattern is going to get repeated a lot through the song. But a lot of times with a song like this to make it a little bit more interesting, I, I like adding what I call a strum pattern. And one of my favorite four four strum patterns for, for a song like this is down down up up down up. So if you took the C chord and just tried that a lot, you have down down up. Up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you want to do that a lot to kind of get used to it. But then if we try that through our intro, then we've got C, down, up. is going to be doing a lot of that that, that same thing where we got the C down down up, up down 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 F down down up, up down G down down up, up down F down down up, up down G down down up, up down C down down up, up down C down down up, up down C down. is kind of doing a lot of the F and G back and forth. So to try that through our chorus, we have our F, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, But the, the, uh, eventually we end up on our bridge part, and our bridge actually starts on an A minor chord. And when you play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, same place he is for C and F major seven. Second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really, really sad. And then from, from A minor, we're going to be going to the G major chord, and another G major chord, and then a C major. C major, and then F major, and then we do another F major, and then we'll basically be repeating that part. So just try that with our strum pattern. We have an A minor, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up.
back to, to our verse part, one other thing about playing with the recording though, is instead of starting on a C major chord, Fleetwood Mac's actually starting on an F major chord, which, is, so what you want to do is take a capo, and if we put the capo on 5th fret, then now our C chord is really an F major chord, our F major is really a B flat major chord, and our G major is really a C major chord, and when we get to it, our A minor chord is really a D minor chord. So just to try that from the beginning, we have our intro with C down, 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 C down. Have a, 
chorus where we got a how you can play through Gypsy by Fleetwood Mac. So good luck. <laughs>